Alabama Root, Super Bowl Tough Sean Alexander's record for the most Super Bowl rushing yards by a player from an Alabama high school or college won't be broken in Super Bowl LVI. None of the players with Alabama Roots in this season's NFL championship game is a running back. Other Super Bowl superlatives could be on the line, though, when the Los Angeles Rams and Cincinnati Bengals square off at 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time Sunday at Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California. More NFL Times which sec program has the most players in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Times to a Tagovailoa to get best chance to showcase his talents. Times Super Bowl LVI, state prep roster grows to 97. Six players with Alabama football roots are eligible to play in Super Bowl LVI. The Rams have outside linebacker Terrell Lewis, defensive end Ashawn Robinson and cornerback Darius Williams. The Bengals have kicker Evan McPherson, tight end CJ Uzoma and offensive tackle Jonah Williams. The Super Bowl teams also have two players who appeared in the conference championship games as practice squad elevations defensive back Blake Countess for the Rams and defensive lineman Damien Square for the Bengals. The teams will make their practice squad elevations for Sunday's game on Saturday. A rundown of the top statistical performances by players from Alabama high schools and colleges includes passing. Players with Alabama football roots have passed for at least 200 yards in a Super Bowl four times, with Bart Starr doing so twice in winning the MVP award for the first two Super Bowls. The most passing yards in a Super Bowl for a state player is 265 by Carolina Panthers quarterback Cam Newton in a 24-10 loss to the Denver Broncos in Super Bowl 50 on February 7, 2016. Newton completed 18 of 41 passes with no touchdowns and one interception. Starr completed 16 of 23 passes for 250 yards with two touchdowns and one interception in the Green Bay Packers' 35-10 victory over the Kansas City Chiefs in Super Bowl I on January 15, 1967, and 13 of 24 passes for 202 yards with one touchdown and no interceptions in a 33-14 victory over the Oakland Raiders in Super Bowl II on January 14, 1968. Starr is the only player with Alabama roots with two TD passes in a Super Bowl game. Joe Namath also won the game's MVP award when he completed 17 of 28 passes for 206 yards with no touchdowns and no interceptions in the New York Jets' 16-7 victory over the Baltimore Colts in Super Bowl III on January 12, 1969. Namath did not throw a pass in the fourth quarter of the landmark game. Rushing Seattle Seahawks running back Sean Alexander set the high mark for rushing yards in a Super Bowl by a ball carrier with Alabama roots when he ran for 95 yards on 20 carries in a 21-10 loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl XL on February 5, 2006. Only one other state player has at least 80 rushing yards in a Super Bowl, and Antoine Smith did it twice. Smith ran for 92 yards on 18 carries in the New England Patriots' 20-17 victory over the Saints. Louis Rams in Super Bowl XXXVI on February 3, 2002, and 83 yards and one touchdown on 26 rushing attempts in a 32-29 victory over the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl XXXVI on February 1, 2004. Receiving Players from Alabama high schools and college have recorded four 100-yard receiving games in the Super Bowl, with Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver John Stallworth doing so twice. Terrell Owens set the state's high mark for receiving yards when he caught nine passes for 122 yards in the Philadelphia Eagles 24-21 loss to the New England Patriots in Super Bowl XXXIX on February 6, 2005. Owens was playing for the first time since breaking his leg on December 19. Stallworth caught three passes for 115 yards and two touchdowns in the Steelers' 35-31 victory over the Dallas Cowboys in Super Bowl 13 on January 21, 1979, and three passes for 121 yards and one touchdown in a 31-19 victory over the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl 14 on January 20, 1980. Stallworth is the only player with Alabama roots with two TD receptions in a Super Bowl. Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver Tyreek Hill caught nine passes for 105 yards in a 31-20 victory over the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl LIV on February 2, 2020. The Alabama roots records for the most receptions in a Super Bowl doesn't belong to any of the 100-yard receivers. Miami Dolphins running back Tony Nathan caught 10 passes for 83 yards in a 38-16 loss to the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 19 on January 20, 1985. Kickoff returns. Only one player with Alabama roots has reached 100 kickoff return yards in a Super Bowl. Oakland Raiders wide receiver Marcus Knight returned eight kickoffs for 143 yards in a 48-21 loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl XXXVII on January 26, 2003. Knight recorded the 10th most kickoff return yards in a Super Bowl in his final NFL game. Hunt returns. Cincinnati Bengals safety Mike Fuller returned four punts 
Lions for 35 yards in a 26-21 loss to the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl 16 on January 24, 1982. That's the 12th most punt return yards for one player in one Super Bowl. There have been 35 two-sack games by players in the Super Bowl, and pass rushers with Alabama roots have recorded six of them. New England Patriots defensive end Trey Flowers set the high mark with 2.5 sacks in a 34-28 overtime victory against the Atlanta Falcons in Super Bowl LI on February 5, 2017, for the state's high mark. New York Giants defensive and Justin Tuck had two sacks in two Super Bowls, the 17-14 victory over the Patriots in Super Bowl XLII on February 3, 2008, and a 21-17 victory over the Patriots in Super Bowl XLVI on February 5, 2012. In Tuck's first two-sack Super Bowl, New England linebacker Adalius Thomas, who also prepped at Central Coosa, had two sacks, too. The state's other two-sack Super Bowls were recorded by Denver Broncos outside linebacker Demarcus Ware in a 24-10 victory over the Carolina Panthers in Super Bowl 50 on February 7, 2016, and Patriots linebacker Donta Hightower in a 13-3 victory over the Los Angeles Rams in Super Bowl LII on February 3, 2019. Interceptions Three players with Alabama roots have intercepted passes in the Super Bowl, and one is among the greatest plays in the game's history. Rookie cornerback Malcolm Butler saved the New England Patriots' 28-24 victory over the Seattle Seahawks in Super Bowl XLIX on February 1, 2015, with his interception. With Seattle at the New England one-yard line and less than one minute to play, Butler intercepted a pass at the goal line on the Seahawks' final snap of the game. San Francisco 49ers cornerback Eric Davis had an interception in a 49-26 victory over the San Diego Chargers in Super Bowl XXI on January 29, 1995. Davis picked off Stan Humphreys in the end zone on a third and one throw from the San Diego 46-yard line. Davis' interception came with 10 seconds left in the first half with San Francisco holding a 28-10 lead. Arizona Cardinals linebacker Carlos Dansby had an interception in a 27-23 loss to the Pittsburgh Steelers in Super Bowl XLII on February 1, 2009. Dansby picked off Ben Roethlisberger's second and fourth throw from the Pittsburgh 22-yard line to set up Arizona on the Steelers 34 with two minutes left in the first half. But on the final play of the second quarter, Pittsburgh linebacker James Harrison intercepted Cardinals QB Kurt Warner and ran off a 100-yard touchdown return. New England Patriots cornerback Malcolm Butler intercepts a pass intended for Seattle Seahawks wide receiver Ricardo a locket during Super Bowl XLIX on February 1, 2015, in Glendale, RI's AP photo Kathy Willens. For more of old.co MS coverage of the NFL, go to our NFL page. Mark Abinet is a sports reporter for Alabama Media Group. Follow him on Twitter at, at AMarkG1.